Is your dog happy or anxious? Find out with my Is Your Dog Happy quiz. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you have to do so, click there to subscribe. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. When you look at Pippi, do you look at a dog that has anxiety, is pretty happy, pretty sad? Well, based on some of your facial characteristics and what's going on, Pipster, with that tail of yours, good girl, I would say that you're happy. But are you? Whoa, we're going to do the quiz. According to many of the animal experts, mental health is a huge problem for our dogs. Uh, one researcher claims that in Australia, for instance, with a population of 5 million dogs, nearly half of them, 2.5 million, have some type of anxiety disorder. Um, much of the research is focused on our increasing emotions, uh, increasing number of people being diagnosed with anxiety, you know, that's our far too busy lifestyle. And what's happening is our dogs in particular are so in tune with us. I mean, they've evolved to be in tune with us, to make eye contact, to read our body language uh, and their emotions. They have much the same emotions that we do, feeling happy, sad, anxious, angry. They're so in tune with us. So when we're anxious, we're not taking good care of ourselves, and that's reflecting directly back on our dogs. There's a dog therapist in Australia, Laura Viseritis. She's actually authored a couple of different books, uh, and in part, she's got a suggested sort of dog happiness quiz. I'm gonna run through some of those specific tests with Pippi along with Tula, if I'll get her convinced. And you can use some of those same things to know, like is, is your, does your dog have anxiety? Is there things you can be doing about it? Yes, there is. Should you be concerned or not be concerned? Yes, oh, you're so anxious. <laughs> First, does your dog bark or howl excessively? You know, just imagine your dog is communicating and if he's barking excessively and he has no reason to be communicating that with you, another person, another dog, he's probably anxious. And you know, he's got all these unusual emotions spinning around in his brain and that's just how he's getting them out. Inappropriately urinating or defecating inside, or even trying to escape away from the house when you're at work. And here's a dog that's scratching at the door, probably at what we're dealing with signs, more of separation anxiety. Uh, but clearly that's one other sign of all these unusual emotions once again. Um, your dog isn't able to you know, retain their normal trained behaviors. And what do you see? You know, this puddle of urine in the house. Dogs who may be chronically licking things, you know, such as their leg, these guys who get these lick granulomas. Once again, we see that far more common in our dogs that have these anxiety disorders. They're on the rise, we're seeing more of that. So if your dog has, you know, maybe that sign, this lick granuloma, just not going away, he or she's chronically licking that front leg, we need to be looking at helping them for anxiety. I want to see your eyes because when I see your eyes they're telling me something. So dogs such as Pippi if she's really anxious or scared um, often what will happen imagine a person who's really fearful you know their pupils are might be constricted their eyes are wide and what you by doing that you can actually see much more of the white part or the sclera. 
So this white part here above Pippi's eye, that's called her sclera. And if you're regularly seeing that big white part in the corner of your dog's eye, then he's got that fearful look response, so fear or anxiety. Pippi, I don't see much of that. You don't seem to be very anxious. Good girl. Where is your tail wagon? What is that thing we're trying to figure out? You wag your tail to the left or the right. Does that tell us anything? Oh, good girl. Yes, I think it does. You're wagging your tail to the right. That's a good sign. Good girl, Pippi. Your dog's tail can also give you a clue as to whether or not he or she is happy or she's got anxiety. So the experts say that if your dog consistently wags his or her tail to the right, she's happy, to the left, she has anxiety. In veterinary practice, usually if I saw a dog with his tail tucked in and down, he's, you know, fearful and or anxious. The tail wag's cool. So let's just see with Pippi. Does it go to the left? Oh, right now, when I'm looking at her on the table, do you see that? It's wagging off to the left. But what if I get some food? Will it go to the right? Pippi, experiment. Oh, now it's gone to the right. Oh, you've got my little happy voice on. Not even food. Oh, went to the right now. Oh, so see that? Pippi just changed her tail wag. Oh, now midway. When she thinks I'm doing something with her, it's more to the left. Oh, now, oh, now it's to the right here from the back. You're not worried. Oh. I almost feel like we just like made some like major Pippi discovery. Now that is cool. All right, Pippi. I actually think you're not very anxious. Good girl. Yes. Does your dog yawn a lot? Little Tula? I don't know if you guys have watched many of the videos, but you are a yawner. And I especially notice when I've got her up on the table and I'm doing something to her, at least for demonstration, you yawn. And apparently that's how dogs relieve stress. They yawn and I kind of wondered because it just seems like Tula yawns so much. Well, here are some of her yawning clips. And of course, while I talk about yawning, she's yawning again. If your dog doesn't pass the dog happiness quiz, your dog has anxiety, what should you do? The most important thing, in my opinion, more than anything else, any other supplement, medication, et cetera, et cetera, like the most important thing, regular exercise. Like committing to getting your dog out a minimum of 15 minutes twice a day, so that's 30 minutes a day minimum of regular exercise is gonna do so much more benefit for your dog than anything else for sure, like, but you need to make that commitment that you're gonna commit that minimum 15 or 20 minutes twice a day, you know, morning and, and, and evening. There's time in there, there's somehow time that you can budget for that. Um, and get your dog out, get your dog running, get your dog moving, getting him or her tired is gonna make so much more of a difference for helping relieving your dog's anxiety as well as yours. Second, the third things you can consider are some natural supplements. First, there's a natural supplement isolated from green tea called L-theanine. I have here, you're looking at doses about a milligram per pound once or twice daily. There are a number of dogs that do respond to L-theanine. It's not a rapid solution, so it's more you've got to give it for a minimum of two to four weeks to see whether it's being beneficial or not. And lastly, you can consider CBD oil as a supplement as well. You know, I have my supplement, Dr. Jones's Ultimate CBD. Um, but regardless, you want to look for a natural quality uh, CBD 
and supplement, and you're looking at doses of about one milligram per 10 pounds of body weight twice daily. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets and knowing whether or not your dog is happy or sad. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. You anxious dogs. Oh, yes, oh, you're so anxious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're crazy. <laughs>